What's up, y'all? I'm back. But I'm back because I forgot that I did want to do, uh, um, um, every time I come back on here, I got my head, put my head ball back in because I was listening to my music. But yeah, anyway, I want to do a, um, a quick story time on, um, the day that a guy tried to kidnap me and no telling what he was going to do with me, but he tried to kidnap me when I was a little girl. So, um, I'll tell y'all how it happened. And first of all, let me explain the way, um, this was, I was probably about, um, I want to say I was probably about, let me see, my mom passed away in 99, so I had to be about, I want to say I was about 11, 12, maybe 13, but anyway, so, I'm on my bike, first of all, I'm in the house on my bike, and, um, in the house, and I asked my mom if I can go riding, if I go ride my bike, because she had just got home, I had did my homework, I had did all that good stuff, so I was like, um, mama, can I go ride my bike? So, as I usually do, go outside, ride my bike, ride around the little neighborhood at the time. Um, we stayed in, like, some, I, I guess, you, you really don't even hear people even really call it that too much anymore. But we stayed in some condominiums, like, where you got, like, it's, like, one building. You got, like, one building. Um, in one building, you got front and back so you got two upstairs two downstairs and in the back you got two upstairs two downstairs so at where we lived at i had to go up like some steep steps to get you know to the um you know to the house through the porch and then you know inside the house and so anyway back to what i said so my mom was like yeah you go ride into the love so Got my bike, took it down the stairs. Um, you know, I'm riding around the neighborhood, like I said, like I always do, riding around the neighborhood. And uh, did a few, you know what I'm saying, about a good two or three laps around the neighborhood. But then, as I did my, as I was going to do my fourth round, riding around the neighborhood, I seen like a white car behind me. I wasn't, I'm not sure what kind of car it was. All I know, it was a white man. He was in a white car. And he was riding, like, slowly behind me. And so, while I'm standing riding my bike, I'm like, okay, let me move over on my bike and try to get out of the way and let him go by because I'm thinking that I'm stopping him from, you know, going around. So, I'm riding. And next thing you know, as I speed up, he speeds up. So, I'm like, what the hell? So, I'm, all, I'm getting all cranky. I'm getting nervous and, like, scared, you know what I'm saying, you, if a young girl, you know what I'm saying, you see a guy trying to, you know, say something to you, trying to lure you into his car, you're going to get scared, so, I'm riding, and, and next thing you know, he pulls up, like, directly, almost right on the side of, right on the side of, um, my bike, and I'm still on the bike, so I'm just like, oh my god, I can't remember, even, I really can't remember the words that he said, but I know he was trying to lure me into his car, so, I didn't have time to speed up on my bike, so what I did was drop my bike, and I started running. Do you know this guy got out his car and started chasing me, y'all? So, like I said, back to the beginning, I stay up some steep stairs on my house, so I'm running, like, literally, like, I'm cutting and bobbing and weaving through the neighborhood, he's still behind me, and I'm running. So, thank God that the lady that stayed in the building next to us, um, down, that stayed next to us downstairs, she had her windows up in her, um, she had windows up on her house, and her screen door her, to her porch was unlocked, because she always had it unlocked, because I know I used to go over there and play with her kids or whatever. Thank God this lady was home, y'all, because by the time I jumped off my bike, started, like I said, running and bobbing and weaving through the neighborhood, like, he was damn near close to me, so I could not make it upstairs, like, I was too shaky, too nervous to even try to go upstairs, y'all, so... Like I said, I got off the bike, started running, and made it to my house, and I was, like, trying to determine by the time I got across the street, was I, was I going to either try to make it up my steps to go inside my house or either go to my neighbor's house. So, I ran. By the time I made that decision, I was like, I'm just going to my neighbor's house. So, so her um her windows was up. So, I'm like, help, 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 help me. You got to chase me. You got to chase me. So, I ran. I yelled into her um to her uh, house and then you know 
went through the screen porch, but I, I was so nervous. I'm trying to open up her screen porch um, door to get in there, to get into her house. And I was so shaking and nervous, I couldn't even um, open up the, um, and this, this and, and, and honestly, this is really almost just making me cry because the simple fact, like, people don't know, like, when you, when you, when you're in a situation like that, y'all, I mean, that is just, like, the scariest freaking, like, moment. I don't know who, uh, who out here has, like, stories about that, but y'all, like, that is just the scariest day ever, and, and this, I just, at this point, and I'm at, literally talking to y'all, and it's just bringing me back to how I felt, because, like, I just couldn't get to my mama in time enough, you know what I'm saying? Like that, and this, and that just brings tears to my eyes now to just think about like what that felt like. And I'm just so happy at the time that um, my neighbor had her um, window up because if not, like I could have been, you know what I'm saying, one of those kids. And I hate that kids have to go through that, but I could have been one of them kids that, um, got kidnapped and taken, you know what I'm saying, that's been gone all these years and stuff like that, and it's like that, I mean, to this day, and I think about it, and I even told Queen one time, and it's like, that is a scary situation, y'all, so, I just, you know, if I, oh my god, but anyway, so I'm crying, let me stop, here's the story, so, I ran into, um, like I said, got, finally, she came, the lady came, opened the door, cause she, she, first of all, she was in the kitchen cooking, so, she was all flustered and stuff like that. So anyway, she by the time she came to the door and, and opened up the screen door for me, because like I said, I was shaking the nerves, I couldn't even get in. So finally, um, I got in, and this lady literally, y'all, uh, came out the door with a freaking um, butcher knife and literally scared this man half to death, because she literally, like, started going towards him. And at that time, he ran back to his um. At that time, he ran pretty much back to his car because this my the neighbor that we had. I mean, that lady was off the chain. She was like a maybe like a mixed Spanish like type of per, um, lady, lady, I think. And um, anyway, she came out with a butcher knife and uh, he ran away. But y'all, like the whole just experience was just like I is was just it just had me in tears for a minute just then because that is a scary situation, you know what I'm saying, to to go through that, and, like, I actually remember that, you know what I mean, like, and it's just, I mean, that was, like, literally a scary situation, y'all, something that I wouldn't wish upon nobody to even experience, you know what I mean, but I just had to share a story time with y'all while I was still, you know, sitting here and, um, waiting on my trainees to come back, and I just wanted to come and share that with you all, um, Apologize for tearing, tearing up a little bit, but y'all, I mean, man, so I just, I had to tell that story time, but, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna leave y'all for real this time <laughs> with peace, love, and soul, and if y'all know anybody who have ever experienced that, y'all, please keep y'all eyes on these kids, especially these days with all this social media and all this different stuff going on. Keep your eyes on y'all kids. And if y'all ain't home when they go to, when y'all go to work, look, make sure they are up in the house, locked with the key, and don't come out till y'all get home, man. I'm telling you. So if you got kids, just just um, you know, make sure they safe at all times. But um, so I'm gonna leave y'all. And that was a story time, at least one story. Well, I think I did a story time before, but it wasn't like a formal story time. But um. Yes, this one is a formal story time, and I will leave y'all with that. And let me dry my freaking tears up. All right, peace.